In competitive bass angling, efficiency is the name of the game. He who casts most and best usually finishes at the top of the competition because maximizing your lure's time in the fish zone often equates to fishing success. Enhanced efficiency comes in more ways than casting agility and accuracy, however. Today's astute bass anglers take advantage of every edge their electronics provide as well. In on the lake that we're on and the system that we're on, there's nobody poking around back there. And that means a lot more than simply revealing how deep the water is or detecting the presence of fish or cover. Space age GPS mapping and navigation, side and down imaging, and enhanced computer wizardry have elevated the electronic connection to bass to a high tech, high stakes contest of will, skill, and advanced technical application and know-how. No. No. Oh, not a bad one. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> I came off of those rocks and that sucker just grabbed that thing. Wow. 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 Here, come here, come here. Let me see what you look like. Here. Uh, huh? Mouthful of DT. Troy and I have been just wailing on the fish here the last few days. This one bit on a DT-16, you know, bounced on the deep water rocks. You know, all over the country today, bass fishing is in really, really good shape. I don't care if you're north, south, east, west, lakes, rivers, reservoirs. And the reason for that is real simple. The resource is getting managed really correctly on most bodies of water all over the country. Also, today we've got more aids, more options in helping us find and catch more big fish than ever before, and particularly the new things that are happening in electronics. In midsummer, bass can be in a variety of locations, from the slop to the drop and even beyond. Today's electronics help us in many ways to weed out these bass. For example, the Fortrex has the guts to chew through the slop. Batteries will last all day. With the Minkota Talon, you can anchor a boat in one to eight foot of water with the touch of a button. It's really slick. If we venture out off the break, the iPilot allows me to follow a depth contour, record a path, and repeat the same run in an instant. Once you get to your spot, there's a variety of ways to analyze the structure. Sonar, down imaging, side imaging. See that great big boulder? That's what those fish are sitting on. All of these tools allow you to be way more efficient with your time and way more accurate with your presentation. You know, fishing is a lot like the real estate business. First and foremost, it's about location, location, location. Then everything else happens after that.